Well, hey y'all, and welcome to the final day coverage of the 2023 Open at Austin. This is the Back Nine, and this is presented by Lone Star Disc. It's a Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series event. We're here at the Harvey Pinnock Disc Golf Course. My name is Holly Finley. And I'm Connor O'Reilly, and I'm super excited to be here with you guys in my hometown of Austin to finish out the last nine of the Open at Austin. Let's take a look at that scoreboard as we have Paige Pierce four strokes ahead of the field right now. Missy Gannon and Kristen Tatar sitting right behind her. Let's see if Katrina or Jessica can make a move for one of those podium spots with the strong back nine and uh, see if Ella can clean it up and continue the strong putts we've seen. Hole 10, par 3, 276 feet. You have a couple different ways you can play this. A lot of players are doing an Annie shot or a forehand if you've got it. Also a hyzer play, which requires a little bit more distance to go up, out, and over. However, this is a very birdieable hole. You kind of feel like you left one behind if you don't get a two here. Yeah, like you said, I feel like that hyzer route's there, but I feel like it almost adds like 60 to 75 feet of distance on the shot power. We up first, forehand off the tee. It's low, but it looks clean. Wow, well executed. She'll be putting for birdie. I love how her shots have that slow, dramatic roll at the end. Yeah. Katrina wow. playing high crash shot. She's going to need some fortune the, on this one. The angle's one. so left, though. I think she found that inbounds. The, the line is a, a little bit into the rough there, so you can be putting from the rough but still be in bounds. Vanessa going maybe a Comet shot? Looks like a mid-range turnover. Meteor. Meteor, okay. Yeah, Vanessa has a great turnover game. I said that already but you can see it for yourself. I think Ella's throwing probably FD3 or PD again and just saws that one off a bit. Yeah, Definitely. not quite as wide and flat as we saw in the previous days. Her forehand, I think, has been a bit early out of the hand today, it seems like, and usually a hole that she's feasting on because she has such a solid forehand. Rainmaker's making up for it, though. Ugh. Oh, another basket hit. She's working hard on the greens, but let's see if she can clean it up off the tee so she can capitalize a little bit more because I feel like her putt's on. Katrina Allen for two. Wow. Again! I feel like All I just, day. on the band again. Yeah, we saw at least three band hits on the front nine from Katrina, so she's been so close to just shredding today. Way to go, Jessica Weiss. Another birdie. And she's playing great today. Always blows my mind when girls play with their hair down. Uh shout out to the females yeah, i cannot do I that i couldn't imagine i don't even like having a hoodie wh wrap around <laughs> my face in it. and dyken with a strong spin putt getting a birdie here on hole 10. here you go vanessa good start to the back nine hole 10 actually did play as the easiest hole on the course for the day at 0.34 under par so a lot of birdies today yeah, they were very generous with the OB line. They put it deep in that rough, so you could land short and then surprise, you're in bounds. And here we are, the old six shooter hole, but really there's maybe only three gaps you can take. There's this inside gap, the drone's flying. If you wanna play a little bit more straight neutral disc, you can fly just right of that. If you wanna play it on hyzer, have it skip back. If you have a big enough forehand out to the left there, it will be the biggest gap, but it'll kinda of create little extra power and uh, make you rely on a good skip back. You do not want to push this one too long though as there are probably 80 trees in the circle on that back side there. So play for the short side of the green, give yourself a putt. And Jessica puts an amazing move on this. That was perfectly thrown. Hits the stand of the basket. Park job. Yeah, That's another a hard run shot. back. That's a powerful forehand. That's a hole that the guys even have to really execute to get this one and most guys are throwing drivers i know i am flight factory with the run back check out their link in the description park city from jessica weiss Ooh, i love this one vanessa lining up the turnover 
Maybe Roller? You think? Oh my gosh, you're right. I thought she was going to go super turnover. I really like this play too, though. I think it's creative and it opens up, makes those gaps easier to hit. But like you see there, I guess it uh, gets a little squirrely at the end, so you never really know. I saw Rebecca Cox park it with a turnover in practice, and that was a really impressive line. Yeah, it's such a sweet line to execute here, and it definitely there. Katrina needing to hurry up left, and she does. Sneaking up there for a birdie putt. Wide open putt. Let's see if she can drop this one into those chains. Let's see if Ella can drive this one nose down. Ooh, good pop on it though. Just a little short, maybe uh, just hung it wider than she needed. Took some energy off. A lot of spectators out. Heard that the spectator tickets sold out completely for Austin this weekend. So thank you guys for coming out. Van Dyken will have a fairly simple par putt. This is Hanson for birdie. Hopefully next year we can get him to make more tickets available so more of you guys can come out and watch the top disc golf throwers in the world. Katrina Allen for birdie. Put it in the chains, Allen. Mm. <sighs> I think she probably took a little off because she was hitting the band and then, man. As hard as it is to not make an adjustment when you keep doing something over and over, it's you gotta just stay true to your putt and trust it. And if you adjust for the last one, this one might not be as good as it could have been. Just do what you wanna do. Easier said than done though. For par. I'm talking to a two-time world champ, so. <laughs> and this shot from Weiss, look at that. She could have left her bag on if she wanted. Incredible. I wonder if the hair down gives you extra powers. I mean, I'm willing to try anything at this point. More sun absorption, who knows? There's some people who, that their whole diet is just the sun, you know? Welcome back to my favorite hole on the course and my second favorite tee shot, hole 12. 587 feet, par four. A couple of different ways you can attack this. Just stay away from the out of bounds. Your second shot is either gonna be a layup or an aggressive shot over this out of bounds golf green towards the basket. However, there is OB long. I see a lot of up shots going out of bounds on this hole. I'd say that's probably the most common error I've seen. Weiss up first. Looking for this one to fade, pushing that out of bounds and it just oh. trickles. She knew out of the hand she was going to test it and yeah, that thing is placed just right in the peskiest spot. You really want to be just right in front of it or just right of it. Vanessa flexing this one to position A. That's going to be a great window to the basket. Katrina throwing a pro line swirl torrent off the tee, only available on KatrinaAllen.com. Hanging out about two meters behind Vanessa. Going to have that same window, see if she can give her a read. Oh, a roller. Now, I haven't seen this yet. We Do told, something. We told you Ella was gas on today, and that was... And that's something. Yeah, it's about as aggressive as you can get here. You know what I just realized those rocks are? Entire bags of concrete. Yep, you just place them down, get them wet, peel the bags off. Genius. Now we saw Weiss execute a similar shot to this the other day and she got all the way up there. So this is her third. Ooh, nice flat angle. Looking for it to catch a little edge on that green and that's super well executed. Primo. Even gets the little anti-curl face flop that you get a lot of times at the end of that forehand just to give you a little extra distance. Ella Hansen's second shot. 
She can't quite see the basket. She's a little cut off on the corner, but it doesn't matter. She'll be putting for birdie. <laughs> I like this Double flag green. man. He's like doing different flag things every time. Katrina looking for this one to drift a little bit more, but I'm gonna push it into the circle. Honestly, you don't always have to perfect it to score birdies. Sometimes just give yourself chances. Katrina got the flag twirl. And Van Dyken with the best drive. Needs this one to hurry. There's an out of bounds line over there. And wow, she had some perfect pace on that one. Aside from Jess's OB, this hole was very well played. I love that the wind has died down for the putt. Ooh. And it's in for the birdie. Ella takes that big risk with the roller off the tee and still able to capitalize on the birdie. She's gonna probably feel pretty good about that one because when you play something that aggressive, you know there's room for error. There's the one for Katrina. Put it up, drop it in. She's been giving herself so many chances at birdie recently, just been all over the basket. Great putt from Jessica Weiss. And as we've saw many other times today, even though her shots went out of bounds, she was still able to scramble for par. Just needed a little bit more. Those elevated baskets definitely increase hold difficulty by at least a tenth of a stroke most of the time. Just make it a little bit awkward. Yeah, living in Charlotte, I have really learned how to putt uh, well on elevated baskets. They have some that are like 10, 12 feet in the air. It's crazy over there. It's a great skill to have because a lot of our greens are being on slopes, elevated baskets. In this one, slope is the name of the game. You're going to play gently up the whole way. There's an out of bounds golf green right up here. We're about to fly over. Then you see the rough line on the right, also marked out of bounds. At 310 feet, this one plays generously uphill so it's going to play probably more in about the 350 foot power zone to park it. Give herself a putt from circle's edge or a little closer up that hill and try to catch the birdie here. Katrina Allen, she's tracking towards that OB with a lot of power. No champ love today. She is out of bounds. That reaction looks like it looked like it might have had a chance to come back, but the long grass just held her up. Ooh, and Ella uh, Hansen, similar line, but she might get lucky, and she doesn't. Mm. Yeah, this one's well designed. I feel like I definitely have to test that out of bounds on the right to throw the hyzer to get there. And if you're not trying to throw it straight or flex it, then. It's hard to play a safe shot here. Everything has to really be well executed to get a look. Van Dyken with a nuke off the tee. She'll have a long look at it. I imagine that's more of a safe pitch up than anything. She hasn't been very aggressive with her putting today. Yeah, she hasn't necessarily been playing super hot, so I think she understands at this point just Par Take is those fine. birdies that are there. Maintain position. Don't don't let yourself slide down too far if you're not shooting hot. And Katrina and Ellen both having to give up a stroke here on hole 13. Because obviously we all want to win every time, but sometimes you understand that mathematically you're kind of just out of it, and you you kind of have to change your strategy and understand how to you know just. Get your cash and learn your lessons. Ella and Katrina, unfortunate bogeys pushing that right side out of bounds. We gave that putt a run though. She did. Thirteen definitely baits in be a hard one to get.
hole 14, it's memorable. You've got this elevated basket, out of bounds everywhere. There's a lot of different ways to attack this hole. I've seen people favor a straight shot with a mid or a putter. Also the wide hyzer shot. Swing it way out right. Let it fade in towards the basket. Hopefully get yourself a drop in too. If you go behind the basket, that's when the real danger starts. You can see it drops off pretty quickly. Got that out of bounds line and then an extremely uphill putt. Yeah, if you find that out of bounds, it doesn't matter. If you're the tallest human being in the world, your head is going to be below that rim and probably by quite a bit. Weiss with the hyzer shot. Ooh, she narrowly avoids that stake. That could have been a bad reaction, but she's going to have kind of a sketchy putting angle. Let's see. She's playing this one aggressive or taking it easy. Ooh, Vanessa with the straight shot. I like this. That buzz takes her to right outside the circle. Yeah, you really have to have great spin control and pace control out of the hand for the straight shot to trust it. A lot of players choosing the hyzer just to allow them to put a little more pop on it and try to just dig into the ground. It's usually pretty grabby up there. Well, taking forehand. Digs down. Another scary putt. But we haven't seen her do much other than play aggressive all day, so let's see if she's able to make that layup decision or she doesn't no ever one. look scared. She no. doesn't play like she's scared either. Van Dyken for two. That looked like a safe layup. Yeah. Huh. This is the most daunting green on the course, so smart play from Ella there. Maybe starting to understand that that push for the win is going to be hard to do at this point. And a little self-preservation. Such a baby run. Wisa has that good uh, lofty putt, so even if she missed the basket, you know, it doesn't drop very far behind. She it's has, she gives it just enough gas to fall on the chains. So scary though, because all you have to do is be a meter behind and the disc will pick up on you. Go down that little hill, but like you said, great control from just there. Get in there, Katrina Allen with the birdie on 14. Taps the rim, a little love tap. <laughs> Thank you. Ella playing her best statue. Got Chandler Fry on the bag. I appreciate people being still when I'm putting out. I'm a person that doesn't like a lot of movement in my peripherals, so I appreciate all the etiquette that people can provide. Yeah, I think as long as the pattern kind of stays the same, if I'm tapping out, I don't mind the little movement, but just don't stop on me while I'm starting to do my stroke or anything. <laughs> this looks perfect off the basket. Now it's rolling. It's headed for the OB. This needs to sit. Oh my goodness, it's safe. Right on the line. She's gonna have about a 30 foot putt for the win. Okay, here we go. The putt is up. Boom, it's in. Strong side with authority. What an incredible moment. Yes. Hamas needs to get something going. And in, Adam Hamas. Hole in one. Incredible. Hole 15 is a beautiful downhill par three. It's a long one though at 425 feet. Out of bounds golf green here on the left. You really want to land this one just right of it maybe if you're playing that straight shot with the backhand and get a nice skip up to this green if you have a big enough forehand you can attack it as well this one's pretty wind dependent though i think there's a number of different ways to go at it today i believe we will have the i don't know what was the wind at this point for you guys do you know i think it was a little uh left to right i remember the disc carrying over to that safe field in the right side Katrina Allen up first. 
It's low, but she's got a lot of power and spin. Does it have enough to get over that out of bounds green? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> oh, that was so neat to watch. Yeah, I really like in this. If the wind is off the left shoulder, I like throwing a slow disc, maybe even like a mid range, because if if you hit that green with enough pace, it'll it'll just slide like that. And there is out of bounds along here. And that is going way over there, and it's. Ooh. Unfortunately, out of bounds. Barely. Or inbounds. Wow. Oh, it's inbounds. Another look from the spotter, and there we go. That'll make your heart jump. Oh, I like this line from Vanessa. Yeah, it gets it to hold. Hopefully, it can get to the ground and skip straight, but oh, it just starts fading a little bit early. No. Well, at this point, I wouldn't trust him. And <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I'm just kidding. I appreciate you being out there, sir. Oh, Ella plays this one a bit too high. Going to need some fortunate ground play or tree play. I don't know where that ended up. I did not see it finish. It's going to be a surprise. Yeah, she went to those thick trees and... I don't know if she dropped down or what. Katrina Allen for birdie. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Such a clean spin out of the hand for Katrina. Oh, you better run that back. That's the best putt I've seen all day. Yeah, that was such an aggressive one. You missed that putt. You're pretty much out of bounds. And Katrina said, I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to grab this birdie on y'all. Ella Hansen for birdie. You know Ella's running this after watching Katrina cash in and she's been on the basket all mm. day. <laughs> she's so fun. We almost got our second back to back run backs of the round. That would have been sweet. Vanessa will have to take a bogey here. Ooh, yeah. White disc on the white OB line. Spotter couldn't tell at first, but after getting over, just hanging in bounds there. Yeah, that's in bounds and just uh, for you viewers out there, the OB line itself is out of bounds. It is not in bounds. So if your disc is not over the line, then you are out of bounds. It's called an out of bounds line. It's a good thing to note, something that not all players know. So definitely got to brush up on your rules if you're going to be playing competition play. We all want everyone to be on an honest and even playing field because that's what makes competition so great. Three pars and one amazing birdie. That's two in a row for Katrina Allen. Katrina's been on the verge of maybe being seven, eight, nine down today with the way she's been throwing the disc, she's been dialed. Let's check out hole 16. What a fun fairway. Par four, 515 feet. You have to play over to the right of the line to be safe. People are just bailing out in that field or a strategic placement would be right here. That'll give you about a 270 foot upshot into the green, hopefully getting yourself a three. However, if the wind is a tailwind, that upshot can get smacked down way earlier than you think, leaving yourself out of bounds. Katrina Allen with a sidearm off the tee on 16. and she is safe in the gravel path. Ooh, I like the way that flattened out. Yeah, it takes trust to put the forehand out there, but if you understand your angles and choose the right disc, it's definitely a great play off the tee here. Ella just uses so much of her body and her throw. Yeah, she really knows how to lever those strong legs and helps make the distance come easier and it's nice for the rest of the upper body to not have to work so hard. That was more of the safe play I mentioned going to the right side of those big trees. Now Vanessa is going to have to settle for par as she got caught up on the drive. Yeah, she continues to play down the right side here and should have a pretty open window. Maybe... Oh, is she... Pushes to the out of bounds for hole 18 over there, maybe? 
I don't think there's any out of bounds over there. It's only this uh, twirly part on the left. Unless we just had a nice spotter helping her locate her disc for pace of play, in which case, good on you, bro. Yeah, we appreciate that for sure. Now this is Hanson's second shot, looking to get under the basket. That checked up beautifully. Look at that, right almost. under Ew. the basket. It just can't get any better than that. I thought it was that. gonna lean, but just, just barely came up short of it. Weiss looking to follow suit. Similar angle. Get up Comes there. through that same gap and plops Man, down. Another great shot. Ladies are really accurate today. This is Van Dyken's third shot. Vanessa playing a straight putter, looks like. Ooh, comes wow, in a little hot. That tree a love. And she'll be inside the circle thanks to that tree friend. Let's see if Katrina can keep it going, and she puts in another highlight, but run it back. Flight Factory is getting some action today with these runbacks, you guys. Don't forget to go check out their website. See if they have any sweet plastic that you want to throw for one of your backups, or you know, maybe you want to try something new. Van Dyken for par. Solid putt. Vanessa, I'm sorry, Jessica with the drop in birdie and Ella with the ultimate drop in birdie. Jessica got a clean back going right now. She's sitting at five under par with two holes to go. Very strong score. She's just been chipping away, kind of almost under the radar, but really just been doing a good job keeping it clean. Battling for that podium finish. And hole 17. Very tight, specific par four at 436 feet. To get to this corner right here, maybe takes 190 to 200 feet. If you want to get around it, you can try to skip it with the forehand. And as you come down this gap, don't walk three abreast, otherwise you might not be able to make it through because this thing gets skinny at the end and takes a very accurate, specific shot to be able to access a birdie. It's there though. Katrina Allen up first, playing a sidearm layup. That is perfection almost. It does leak a little bit right, but she should have a nice backhand or forehand straight. Ooh, that's aggressive on the height out of Weiss. She gets through the clock. <gasps> oh my Ooh, gosh. That's good. That's good. I think the more players have played this hole, I've seen people start to start, try to take that high route, understanding that if they just hit their angle, sometimes they'll filter through even further and you can the closer you can be to this tiny little gap it gets a lot easier i'm liking ella's placement the best thus far right in the middle yeah she played that razor claw look like so not really trying to skip around the corner understanding that putting herself in a good spot is going to give her a chance i'd call those four successful tee shots Let's see if van dyken's going to try to get through the tunnel or just lay it up short you got to be weary of left kicks here as there is an out of bounds line. So coming in with the backhand spin here lends to those leftward kicks, depending on if you can beat the trees or not. Ooh, Hanson making it into the tunnel. She'll have a look at Birdie. Very well played. Jessica forehand, maybe with that leopard trying to flip it up and just a little early out of her hand. Katrina needs to swing through. Similar line to Ella, just a little more overturned. Good progression from everyone so far. Ooh, Ooh Van Dyken threading the needle. She's up there putting for par. Very accurate shot right there. Hard to execute shots like that sometimes. Van Dyken is one of the stronger woods players in our division. If we have a wooded course, you can usually guarantee Van Dyken's going to be up near the top somewhere. Katrina stretching out, going for that little pitch Annie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
caught her hand on the tree, said, worth it for the stroke. Don't want to bleed two or three from that short away. This is Weiss to save par. Oh. oh! What chains? You don't need them. The crowd giving her some love. You gotta love hearing that. People getting out, checking out all the FPO action. And oh, that one catches the rim and 50 50s in. More like 70 30. She had enough, enough of that disc in there. Hansen for Birdie. Oh, strong putt. Little left foot step through. Get some extra momentum. Back to back run backs. I feel like Ella just has, like we said, just a good mix of shots. She can step through with the left on the green. She can probably step through with the right. She just, she has very sound wrist and elbow upper body action. So, did you see uh, Chandler, her caddy in the back, doing his celebrations? I did not. I, oh, I missed you missed it. 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 You got to go back and watch it. I love Chandler. He's one of my favorite humans. Man, uh, Katrina Allen's really doing something today. From this chase car, she's not that many strokes away from the leader, Paige Pierce. And Jessica Weiss fighting for that podium finish. Hole 18, 612 feet, par four. What a fun finishing hole. You've got out of bounds left, out of bounds on this golf green. You wanna land your drive either short of the green or a little bit left of it, somewhere near this corner gravel path where it meets the concrete. Now the concrete itself is out of bounds, so your upshot is going to get skinny up this narrow, narrow fairway towards the basket. Haven't seen a lot of threes here this weekend. Ella Hansen up first. She has enough power to get across the out of bounds golf green. Wow. And she is safe in a primo position. Yeah, the approach, how aggressive you can get, whether you're gonna play for birdie or not here is so wind dependent. We saw the scoring average of this hole really swing a bunch. It was almost two strokes over par day one yesterday just over one stroke over par. Today we saw it play 0.68 over par. So as that wind got more mild, the players were able to trust that second shot a lot more. Jessica finds herself in a great place to be able to throw that nice straight backhand in. Might even be able to put a touch of Heiser out of the hand with that angle. Vanessa looking for that to get down. And Van Dyken's Undertaker sending her out of bounds left. This is Vanessa's third shot, just looking for a placement shot at this point. I think that was a little more right than she intended, but it's fine. Yeah, I think she'd like to be maybe even 20 to 30 feet left of that ideally, but... Katrina's second shot. Ooh, that is going in bad places. Can it bust through? And it wow. does in bounds. Incredible. I almost wrote that one off. Safe putting for birdie. Let's we'll see if Vanessa can show off that turnover game you talked about on her third shot here. Fourth shot, I should say. Shout out to the man in the fancy hat. Weiss's second shot. It's got a lot of height on it, but it's tracking right. Looks like it's going to have a soft finish. That's my guy Zam. I know, I know that guy. Oh, he's yeah? A, he's an awesome local. Shout out Zam. Weiss's upshot was great. Ooh. Ella trusting it over the cart path. Hopefully it doesn't catch a crack. I love a cart skip. No! Oh. And the curb starts as you start to get closer to the green there. You can't really use the path too long, otherwise it's probably gonna hold you off. And that's unfortunate. She committed to a good shot. Van Dyken with a turnover towards the basket. Yep, Holly told us about those turnovers and that one was buttery smooth. Oh, that was primo. Yeah, she's so good at that. 
If you didn't know, now you know. Ella having to come well back here, pitching up that razor claw. Nice touchy nose angle right there, well executed and yeah, not quite the round she was looking for, but I feel like all weekend she was really close and she's been playing such strong golf, so look forward to her to be contending for a win again here soon. I love that aggressive bid from Katrina on the 18th, but doesn't quite connect for the birdie. She'll have a drop in par nonetheless. And Weiss for bird. For one last look. Oh. And if she was one inch shy of the solo hot round, but that tap in for five down is gonna keep her tied for the hot round with Sai Ananda. So great round, Jessica. Ella Hansen finishing with a bogey here on the 18th. What a fun day of golf for Jessica Weiss. Yeah, she played a clean back nine, almost finished with another highlight. And combined with uh, Katrina's play from yesterday and today, she has snuck way up the leaderboard as well as Jessica Weiss. Very impressive play from the ladies this weekend. Here we see a final look at those colors for the back nine. We saw some green from every player. Vanessa, not quite as clean as she would have liked there. Either way, good showing though. Glad to see her on that chase card. And Paige Pierce taking down the two-stroke victory. Katrina jumping all the way into second. And Jessica snagging that tied for third podium spot. We saw two podium finishers on that chase card. A lot of fun today. Don't forget to check out Ace Run Pro on socials. Check out their Instagram. Obviously, you're watching YouTube now, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see them again out at Music City. Or we will see you guys again, I should say. We'll see everybody again <laughs> at Music City. Appreciate you guys tuning in to this first Open at Austin. I hope we get to come back next year. I really enjoyed it here. Some great places to eat and some fun golf to be had. I'm excited to see some maybe slight course tweaks and uh, it's a great venue.